video today, a little different. We're inside of the main engine today on the ship. We're inside of the scavenging airspace. And I'm just gonna do a quick video walk through from one side to the other. I'm up near underneath cylinder number eight and we'll walk through all the way down to cylinder number one. And we'll just take a look at what's inside here. So let's go take a look real quick. All right guys, so there's looking out into the main engine room. This is the forward side of the engine, which is cylinder number eight. Uh, cylinder number one will be the aft side of the engine. And that's where I entered. There's the first access right here. That's a cylinder liner for cylinder number eight. You can see the stuffing box. It goes on the, the connection rod right there. You see the holes where the air goes through. And inside there, uh, if you look in there, you would see the top of the piston. So the pistons are inside there. And then again, the same thing, cylinder number seven. Now these louvers right here, we have two air coolers on the ship. If you looked at the video tour of the engine room, you would have noticed those. I'll try to do another video tour of the engine room soon. But those are the louvers right there for the air cooler. We have two of them. This is number two. So we're just gonna keep walking aft here. Little bit limited space right here. There he goes, another shot. The piston underside. And again, that's the cylinder liner that you're looking at. And the connection rod goes right through there. The, the cream color that you see, that's where the stuffing box is and everything. Uh, there's some stuff right here. Reason is, I'll show you. Uh, this is the auxiliary blower. Hardly ever get to see inside here. There's the blower right there itself. And what I'm doing right now, I'm cleaning this space here just so we can put a nice seal on it. So I'm getting it real clean, free of any, you know, grease, oil. And then we'll put a seal on it so there's no leaks on the outside. So while we have time here in port, I'm trying to do stuff like that. So I've got some rags here. And of course, before I get out, I will make sure none of those are inside. Okay, now we have a little bit more space here. You take another look underside. So once again, that's the, the air goes through there inside the cylinder liner. And the piston is going up and down inside of here. There you go. Okay, so we're just gonna keep walking aft here. So right now we're around, this is cylinder number four. And then number three. Now this is the after air cooler number one. So there you go, right there. So the air when we're underway will be blowing in here. And the air gets drastically cooled before it's blown in here. Now the turbos up there are blowing or spinning. And then this air gets forced into the engine at a cooler temperature. Okay, now we're almost at the after door. So let's take a look real quick here. This is the after side. All right, here's the cylinder liner for number one. I don't know if you, what you can see here. You can see inside, all the way across. You're looking inside of the actual cylinder liner and the piston is just down below there, just a little bit down below there. There's cylinder liner for number two. So that's what it looks like inside. Okay, and here's another look. This is looking forward. And this is what it looks like. So guys, that's what it looks like inside of the main engine, the scavenging airspace, and the underside pistons, the upper part of the engine. And of course, down below is the, the crankcase and all those things. All right guys, so I'm gonna make my way back to where I'm working here. And of course, we're doing a walkthrough to make sure there's no rags or anything. Anytime we do anything inside the engine, we always do a walkthrough at the very end, like a last man out scenario to make sure there's no tools, no rags or anything, because we don't want that in here. So we just double check to make sure there's nothing left behind. 
All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this short little tour of the inside of the upper engine, the scavenging airspace, and piston undersides. So I'm going to go get back to work and finish this little job up right now. But if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video.